During the COVID-19 pandemic, we all became familiar with public health and social measures, such as hand washing, staying home, and ventilation. These measures were implemented to reduce the spread of the virus in different settings, ease pressure on our healthcare systems, and buy us time to develop and distribute treatments and vaccines. Take schools, for example, where physical distancing, wearing masks, and self-testing before class helped keep students and teachers safe. But school closures impacted children's learning and development, and for some, even resulted in loneliness and hunger. More robust evidence is needed to better understand which, when, and for whom these measures work. We also need a clear picture of the health, social, and economic impacts they have on our communities. This research is essential for leaders to make decisions based on evidence that will both maximize the benefits on health and minimize unintended negative consequences for communities. The World Health Organization is calling for greater collaboration across sectors through the Public Health and Social Measures Initiative. Because the more we understand now, the better prepared governments and communities can be for our future.